with a do reckless game bro today we're going to be installing some fiber octa lights in the impala ss so in order for us to do that we got to go ahead and drop the whole head visor down and after i have to go ahead and take the head visor down i'm going to show y'all that the next step in which i got to do to actually install these little lights so go ahead and stay tuned for the video Slang and I got her flame in her host. In the lake with a Drake, get the feeling like soldier. Put an A on some shake, get it going, we expose. Like a K, he get bake up a K94. Chop a spray like some mace, we don't taste, but she blew. Y'all drugs, hella late in the K like the home. Got more chains in the slave like. So what it do, reckless gang. So right now, we got the roof pulled down, right? So now I'm just debating on how I'm gonna get out the car because I don't want to damage the roof and put like any creases in it. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't want to put no creases inside of it. So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the seat down and take out the box and then slide it out through the through the trunk you feel me so while i got this pulled out my actual plan is i'm gonna go ahead and have the car i'm gonna have it dropped off to the transmission shop so they can go ahead and install the transmission cooler and my shift kit you feel me so while i'm doing my doing my uh, lights for the roof it's going the car is actually going to be in the shop uh getting some work done to it so this is why i thought it was a perfect time to go ahead and knock it out because I know like stuff jobs like these normally take about a day or two to get them done. So I'm gonna just put it in the garage, set it up, get the holes through. When I start poking the holes, I'm gonna record it and just do like a time lapse, I guess. So as soon as I get this roof pulled out, I'm gonna tell y'all guys back on let you know what I'm doing. So what it do, reckless game. I already got the headliner out, as you guys can see. I had to take out the back two panels. Um these back panels right here. I had to take this pop, just peel these off so the roof can kind of come down. And I had to take off the two front shunts, the two front shunts sage, or the sun visors, whatever you want to call them. So now we come over here, I got the headliner. I'm gonna go buy a steamer to clean all this stuff up and to get all the little wrinkles out when I had to bend it to get out the car. And that's where we at right now. So when I start drilling the holes for the lights, I'm gonna turn you guys back on and show you the process. Install these stars inside of your roof. You're gonna need a heat gun. You're gonna need some drill bits. And then you're gonna need some glue for the heat gun and then you're also gonna need a drill. I drill somewhere around here. I don't know where I put it at. Uh there it is. You're gonna need a drill too. It's right here. With the little drill bit on it. So the original plan that I was gonna do, I was gonna wrap this this actual headliner in suede so it's gonna be black suede. But but when I had went to the shop, they didn't have any any more suede, and then it's just gonna be about like three weeks to get some more suede in. So I didn't really want to wait for the suede. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, set y'all up on a time lapse and just just start drilling all the holes in. And also, thing I forgot to mention, you guys gonna need a speaker because you're gonna listen to some music while you're doing this. Cause I'm guaranteed you're gonna get bored. So I'm about to set you guys up so y'all can go ahead and watch the process. All right. So, we so with a do reckless game, I got the car back out the shop from the transmission shop because they went ahead and dropped the cooler in. And now that I got it, got the car back out the shop. I'm about to go ahead and throw the roof back up. So all you do when you throwing the roof back up, all you doing is like what you did the first time, you going back in reverse. So I had to run the wires back through for the dome light and put the garage open the back in. And then all you're gonna do is put the roof back up and like pull up clips back in. <coughs> and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my lights running off that, down that side post and it's gonna connect to the box going through that side post. Some people can run their stuff going through the, um through like this panel right here and have it going to the today today trunk but two reasons i didn't do that for one my string wire wasn't um long enough to reach all the way back there and for number two i'm gonna have a beat in the trunk i'm gonna do the i'm not keeping these toys in here these toys is in the car when i brought it i'm gonna have some 15s back here and i don't want all that vibration to mess up the um the um, control box so basically this is the little control box right here and it's gonna be on, on the side of the door panel controlling the lights so as soon as i get everything put in i'm gonna turn y'all back up i'm gonna turn y'all back on and get y'all up that all right two weeks in the stars they look great in there man like it came out real good actually so y'all can see turn that off so y'all can see the roof all in like i told y'all i was gonna run it down there I actually gotta, I gotta, I forgot the cutter at work. So I gotta, when I go to work, I gotta cut that out a little bit so it can fit like flush inside of there. You know what I'm saying? And then next all I gotta do is just cut these down. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these down tonight and put the car back together. And then just leave that little one piece out. And when I go to work on um, Tuesday or Wednesday, I just go ahead and like cut that out so I can push that all the way flush. So let me show y'all this in action right quick. I see it in action right there. 
already cut a few of them down just to see how it kind of look. Like y'all see these right here, the ones already cut down. See how it kind of how it look. But yeah, so all I'm gonna do is get the cutting now, and then put these little two clips back in, and then I'll be done with the whole car. You feel me? All right. So as soon as I finish cutting these down, man, I'ma turn y'all back on and then show y'all like the end product. I'ma show y'all how I look through with the tint too, cause I know I got the dark, the dark tints on there. Look, I ended up finishing the car and the lights and everything. It came out real good. I'm about to show y'all right now exactly how I did it. So now this wasn't sitting flush so what i had to do to get this to sit flush is i had to cut like the actual frame of the, of the car so the box can fit in there let's see how it is so now that allows me to like that allows me to actually push it on there on their flush so let me go ahead and show you how to do with the um with the um lights actually on stuff still functional so if you guys got any questions on how to do this or y'all don't y'all lost or you, you guys need help taking your headliner down just send me a message new reckless game man so look i went on ahead and picked up a new car you know what i'm saying you can probably already tell what the car is by the by the seats man but i'm gonna go ahead and take y'all around the whole car man the new car man